you guys ready for a $1,757 deck and paper? And it's over $836 online, so this is a very pricey deck, guys. Um, and I'm going to read you the deck list. I mean, there's one card in particular. Uh, there's, there's a few cards on this list that are just insanely pricey. So, again, all the prices are paper versions. I will have a list to the deck as well as the current prices. And then what decks this card is. Um, what deck this particular deck does well against and not does not do well against. Uh, you got two oozes, four Tamagoyce at $600, so they are $150 a piece. Four Rhinos, two Tassigur. Tassigur is eight bucks right now. That's very good price for Tassigur. I'll just throw that out there. One Doraz, two Instacrensison of Kosalak. Wow, that card's twenty. That card's thirteen dollars a piece right now. Wow. Free Path to Exiles, free Thought Seizes, free Abrupt Decays. Abrupt Decay being... Ah, oh, Abrupt Decay is not too bad. It's like 16 bucks right now. I mean, I can see it being more. One Golgari Charm, a Dismember, four Lily Honors of the Veil. Huh, Lily of the Veil is like 90 bucks right now. Uh, more than 90, looks like 95. A playset of Lily Honors costs 386 bucks right now. That's pretty crazy. Three Lingering Souls, one Maelstrom Pulse, and a Battle Skull. Your lands, you have 25 of them, and they're very interesting lands. A Galvany Township, a Godless Shrine, a Marsh Flat, two Overgrown Tombs, a Snow-Covered Forest, two Snow-Covered Plains, two Sterling Wildwood, one Tech Edge, one Swamp, a Temple Garden, two Treetop Village, a Twilight Mare. Wow, that's a $40 land right there. A Orgbog, Tomb of Yagamai Mare, uh, four Catacombs, Catacombs being 55 bucks a pop, three Windswept Heaths, and a Woodland, Woodland Cemetery. The sideboard is pretty interesting. You got a Niles Spellbomb, one Thought Seize, a Dromoker's Command, a Hollowed Moonlight, Corsati Primates, a Stony Silence, a Voice of Resurgence, uh, Drowned in Sorrow, Free Fumin Mater Mages, and that is a pricey card. That's over 20 bucks a piece. A Kitchen Finx. A voice is 24. Wow, that's crazy. I didn't know Voice went up that high. A Phyrexian Arena. A Damnation. <laughs> Damnation is 56 bucks. And a Obstinate Bailoff. So those are your deck list. Uh, you are very good against Jund. How can that possible? Are you, oh, you're Absent. Okay, so you're Absent. You're good against Jund. You are very, you're kind of good against Inflect, Splinter Twin, and Affinity. You're kind of bad against Amulet Bloom, and you're very bad against Merfolk and RG Tron. So those are your matchups. What do you guys think about the deck? Uh, what do you think about the cards in the deck? Do you think that it is a good deck? I mean, you're looking at a pricey deck. This deck is insanely pricey. It is $1,757.75 paper today. And modern seasons are like kind of over, so like I imagine that if you want to pick up this card, you should probably pick up this deck. You might want to do so in December sometime. Um, it is a very strong deck, but a lot of the pricing. I mean, you got your Tamagoyfs, you got your Lilianas, you got your Playset Thought Seizes, you have your Verdant Catacombs. It looks like you have your Fumigator Mages. You have your um, Damnation. I mean, like, these cards are not not cheap, right? So, what do you guys think about the card? Twilight Mirror, you got a single tin of that. Uh, is it worth the $1,700 plus? Or do you think you guys would choose a different deck or build this particular deck a little differently? Uh, maybe a cheaper version of it. I would love to see that. But again, the deck list as well as what type of decks it is good against and what type of decks it is bad against will be in the description below. Bye, guys.